slowing down tremendously for this one, going over the line a lot to try to get through, struggling, no cars are coming. Okay, not a great job, but it's still making it. Very confused. Turn signal is on. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We're back at it with another video for FSD beta 10.11. We've done the camera recalibration. We've got it to be a little bit better. We understand what it does right, what it does well, also what it doesn't do so well. But now we're going to take it down some old tests, some old sort of torture tests and take it down a winding mountain road, which we affectionately called the devil's backbone and see how it fares. Uh, it didn't fare too well the last time we did it. But now we're going to do the latest version of FSD in 10.11 as we approach version 11 proper for FSD beta and see how it fares. Again, just making sure that we're doing the best that we can in terms of being safe and making the driver feel comfortable. That's what we're measuring here, not necessarily disengagement. So I'll go ahead and engage once we get to the lines. we go, FSD visuals have kicked in, and now we activate. I'll keep it at 25 miles an hour because this is pretty dangerous. I'll be at the ready. And again, just making sure that the car is doing its thing to keep me safe, keep the car safe, keep everyone around him safe. So far, so good. Again, does a great job staying in the lane. That's just been par for the course with 10.11, especially after the camera re recalibration for us. Some cars may not need the camera recalibration, so use your own judgment and discretion as to whether you want to do that or not. But otherwise, it's been pretty rock solid in terms of the things that it does well. Any criticisms have to do with, you know, turning specifically. But this, is, this should be a good turning test because the road is very windy and... The sun is sort of coming up, so it kind of blinds or struck some of the camera sometimes, depending on the angle. So far, so good. As you see here, sharp turn. Does a really good job of staying in the line. Last time we did this test, especially in this upcoming really, really sharp turn, it didn't do a good job staying over the double, staying on this side of the double yellow line. Let's see what happens this time. Slows down nicely. You see how this could be bad very quickly. Still going over the yellow line, but still trying to correct itself. So that's pretty good. Trying to correct itself. Doesn't get too close to the guardrail. Goes over the yellow line for the turn, but then recorrects itself again. So this is something that people would actually do when they make these turns on this winding mountain road. Is they'd go over the double yellow line. And they would basically correct themselves, especially if no one's around. So far, so good. This is very impressive. This is very impressive stuff. And this is not unlike the sort of winding road, the famous winding road in San Francisco in this regard, but it's just a little bit more um, mountainous in terms of being in the, in the wilderness as opposed to a local urban, suburban city street. Oh, very good. Excellent job here. Did a great job. Let's see how it navigates this. There's a little bit of a median here. And cars are coming. Didn't seem like it wanted to slow down. And there's cars coming all over the place. So I'm going to take over here just to get it corrected and see what it does. I'm going to go. Lots of traffic now. Lots of traffic now. I re-engage. It's looking to make the turn. Make it. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with how it handled itself, how it composed itself down the road, down the winding mountain road. The exit of that particular road was very, very challenging, even for humans, hard to see, hard angles, things that will block most drivers. You have to really turn around to see what's coming. So I don't, I don't fault it for that. Standard type of intersection here, creeping for visibility, past the bus, and then it proceeds. 
very nicely. All right, so it did it. It passed the sort of torture tests and the winding mountain road better than it did before. So I'm very impressed. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you thought in terms of how this handled this particular turn. Let me know if you've had similar situations or similar uh, drives with FSD beta 10.11. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.